Hi everyone, me again, back uh, with a short video of something very special and uh, an addition that came in uh, to the house yesterday. Uh, first off, the the addition, uh, which is powered by this uh, push to make switch. It's a single pulse uh, switch unit that only gives power when you press. As soon as you release, power is removed. Uh, bought that from Maplin for I think it was one pound something. Uh, but here we are, is the, the new edition. It is, of course, a uh, semaphore. It is the LMS semaphore, uh, double O gauge, it's from Dapol. Uh, has a built in LED, don't know if it will show if you can see, uh, just behind where the red panel is. Uh, and then, obviously, when you move or when you press the button, There you are, it uh, changes to green, as it has the uh, red panel and a green panel that's lit up by the LED. Uh, I'll put the camera back down here, just check that it's in the right position. There we are. Uh, now for the something special. Let's see, where's the box? It is of course uh, ESU, it's uh, lock sound. It's the, the V4 version. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which model it's for, but when I saw it, I thought, got to have that. So without any more waiting, let's get her turned on. Let's see if you can guess uh, which model she is. Is of course uh, my Backman Class 37 with the Soul Tire Society. I'll just stop her there. Uh, when I saw the um, Dakota advertised on, of course, eBay, it is from uh, a company. We go by the name, you've probably seen them, is Peter Spares. A very reasonable price. Uh, it has 12 functions. The lights on and off are your, it's obvious. Your sound is a multi start. Uh, your horn, uh, F2, which is your, your F3 horn. Your brake, your fuel pump, your uh, coupling, then your flange squeal, and your function ten. Is your air dryer? Your F11 is your guard's whistle. Uh, your F12 is your notching. Uh, like I say, I uh, saw the sound decoder, thought great price. Wanted a class 37 on digital uh, with sound. Now, if you remember, uh, well, if you've seen, sorry, on eBay or various other sites, you can get um, class 37s, 
let's turn her off uh, with digital sound but I've seen prices for her of £180-£190 with sound uh, as, I remember, as you remember I bought this locomotive for £60 uh, something pound. The decoder was £111-£112 pound. Uh, as I say from Peter Spares it was done by uh, Overnight Courier uh, it said on the Courier's website uh, to be delivered for 4 o'clock actually turned up at midday uh, very very happy with this uh, now although the one thing I will um, say to you is there's not much space uh, in the unit uh, back here you have your fan up here there is a small space for a speaker to go into uh, but it will not fit the size that is in here so what I've had to do is actually remove the speaker from the speaker box uh, and actually put black electrical tape around her because the chassis uh, for the 37 is metal and the speaker itself is metal so I didn't want a chance of uh, an electrical surge going through it killing the train or possibly the decoder so that's um, four now uh, with sound uh, LMS Duchess of Montrose the class 25 aka Rat uh, the class 50 aka Hoover and now the class 37 which uh, I'm not actually aware of her nickname uh, I'm sure someone will be able to tell me in the comment section uh, one other thing I've been doing um, before we, uh, I go is I've been fitting the uh, AWS ramps uh, now this is actually with uh, ballast in this section this is just the paper over here I think it looks quite good uh, the trains do um, go across them without catching them uh, well my ones do anyway uh, there is other ones that have um, fairly long uh, pipes near the wheels that are for uh, the sand to stop wheel spin on the real trains when either hauling uh, a lot of coaches or freight or up a hill so you might have to watch out for them uh, but it shouldn't be any problem uh, they do actually fit in between if I can just get one and turn it over as you can see there's a little groove two little grooves there and the part of the track just fits in that little bit of the middle if I can find my smallest screwdriver just under the camera so you have one area just there on there and the track fits in just there snugly and up here now it's up to you how you'd um, want to fix it to the track I use the um, Humbrol uh, precision poly cement the difference between the normal poly cement and the precision is just obviously the normal poly cement is in the tube this one is in the plastic bottle with the metal uh, pipe so you can just get the right amount on so instead of your tube and splashing it everywhere you can get it exactly where you want uh, so I think that's it for now um, any comments uh, please feel free to post them I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, any messages uh, likewise she should be uh, pulling uh, a rake of wagons uh, in the next video, just for demonstration purposes, I guess, with the sound. Uh, so I'll see you once again uh, when that video is being done. Thanks for watching.